Um, I wanted to celebrate uh, Ramana Callen is one of our visiting assistant professors. Um, she's been with us for about three years and she just got this, she's a panda researcher. So talk about kind of a dream job, right? But um, she had this study come out on um, where they looked at uh, how free roaming dogs, like feral dogs, limit habitat use of giant pandas in nature reserves. And um, so this is an example I, I wanted to highlight of, of first of all, the figure legend. It, the figure caption is underneath the figure. She's got two panels, an A and a B. This is actually just the example I was just talking about, is essentially of putting them together. And she describes, she says, it's a histogram, right? She's letting you know, even though you might look at that and say, oh, that looks like a histogram. Let me tell the people what it is. She walks through what this is showing and how this group, A, Lipsing, Liz, King Nature Reserve has many dogs, and this other location, which I'm not going to try and pronounce, um, has few dogs, right? And then, so once she's she's helped you understand that, then she talks about the red versus the blue, right? So the red bars are 100 random locations in the nature preserve, um, just like where where they might be if there was it was just totally random where the pandas would be. And blue is where they actually are. Um, and, and on the x-axis is the distance to residences. Um, so what you essentially see is when you have many dogs, um, the, the, the pandas are choosing habitat in the wildlife nature reserve um, that are further away from them, the random locations. But when you have few dogs, it's, it's much more of an overlap, okay? So this is actually very similar to um, what we talked about with normal distributions, all sorts of things. Um, you could obviously run a t-test on the random versus the non-random. But essentially in this really cool figure, um, which a lot of people would just like, they, they might get intimidated by this figure and not try and figure it out. But once you understand it, this is the story of her entire paper essentially in a nutshell. And it kind of stands on its own. Um, so again, the power of a figure and a visual um, to make the, the data really come alive and tell a story, okay?